Hey everybody, how you doing tonight? Um, so, Debian 12 just released, and I wanted to do a a tour, essentially, of how I've configured my Debian 12 setup. And uh, also, like, showing you what, what the final setup is, basically, of, of my workstation. So, we're going to go into what kernel I'm using how I got Mesa 23 and also we're going to go, I'm going to show you guys the, the ArchWiki performance configs I used. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So the kernel we're using is the Xanmod version 4. Um, a lot of you probably noticed I'm using Zen 2 and I installed version 4. Uh, it seems to be working fine, even though, um, version 4 says it only supports Zen 4, but I think what, what that means is that they, that this includes everything plus the new architectures. Um, I'm assuming because mine's working fine. Also... You can get the Xanmod kernel if you just go to xanmod.org. It'll walk you through it if you're on Debian like me. Um, I don't know how you get it elsewhere. <laughs> uh, I don't even know if they offer it elsewhere. As far as I know, all all that's available is the apt repo. But uh, I could be wrong. I know it's on Arch somehow. Garuda had it when I was using Garuda. Um, but yeah, so Mesa 23, Mesa 23, you need to get the, um, the Debian experimental repo. And, uh, you just, you add this line to your sources.list or you can add it separately if you want. Like do experimental dot list and sources dot d or something, um, and then you just you install. You essentially go. I'm using fish. So I don't know if this. I don't think this works, and I'm not going to run the command because I've already done it. But you essentially go. Um, oh, I did that wrong. You basically do this. You do sudo apt t experimental install mesa, and then you do a, a star. And it'll grab the whole mesa stack. And that's how you get mesa 23. You'll get, um, I believe it's mesa 23, yeah, 23.1.1-1. So the latest stable release you'll get. And uh, th this actually offers giant performance improvements over 22.3.5, I think. This is way better. I would, I would recommend anybody grab that if you're on AMD or even Intel. Um, what else is there to talk about? ArchWiki. So this video is probably going to be pretty short because um, not much to really show you here. But essentially, if you go to the Arch Wiki, this works on Debian. It's not just Arch. You just copy and paste it, basically. Arch Wiki is actually a really good source for stuff. So the two things I did is I did game compatibility. I, I made this file and did this. This is essential to making your games run right. I covered this in an earlier video, but essential to make sure you don't get stutters, make sure your frame rate's always high. Um, th this fix a lot of things, fixes a lot of things. Uh, and then I did 
improving performance, which you can kind of go through this if you want. Most distributions nowadays are using TC or TSC, so you don't really have to worry about that. I'd still check it. Um, but yeah, all this works on Debian. And then I essentially went down to make the changes permanent, and I made this file and added all this to it. And, uh, and then I did LD bind now. I think I read this wrong. I, I think I said in the last video that if you're on Plasma X11, like the X11 session, don't do this. I don't think it matters, because I've noticed a big performance in, in well, not big, but I've noticed an improvement since doing this, and I'm currently using X11. Yeah, we're using X11, and it works. So, I don't really know what to make of that. Um, but yeah, that's essentially my setup. Uh, I kind of wanted to make this video to celebrate Debian 12, because Debian's been good to us over the years. So, uh, yeah, that's essentially it. I will see you guys in the next gaming video, whatever I decide to do next. See you later.